YouTube. So as you can see from the unboxing, this is the Ridge Rider by Evercool 32 litre thermoelectric cooler slash warmer. A super cheap order were kind enough to send me this for the purpose of a review. And uh, so we're going to test it out. It does hot, it does cold. You can adjust the temperature up and down. It's huge in capacity. It's got a cool little drain bung in the bottom there with a couple of O-rings on it. You can just pull out and let out whatever you don't want in there. Nice seal all the way around the lid with the proper latch. On the inside here you'll notice there's also an LED light and there's a fan where the uh, on the other side of the Peltier cooler, or thermoelectric cooler. So this works by the Peltier effect. The only moving parts it has is these couple of fans. AC and DC, 12 or 24 volt operation. This is a standard plug using most of your computers and electronics of the nature. So you you get operation manual, warranty card, some spare fuses, which must go somewhere internally. Oh no, maybe for the cigar lighter socket. So you get supplied this nice thick lead with a cigar lighter socket, which is polarized, so it can only go one way. Just sideways out here, and not straight out like a lot of the other brand ones you'll find are. They come straight out of the side down here, another leading brand do. And um, they're not as good. So, I've got the AC plugged in on the other side. Let's uh, plug it in and see what, see what happens when we turn it on. Okay, so we've plugged our AC power cord in. This one over here. You can see with the light shining through there, the big aluminium heat sink and very nice size fan. There's a bit more of a look on the inside. We might even take that cover off in another video and have a bit of a look inside how they've done it. But uh, at the moment we're just going to have a look and see how, how well it performs. So I've got the trusty Milwaukee heat gun. And uh, we're going to about 22 degrees, 23 degrees in here, ambient temperature at the moment. Yep, 22 in the bottom of the fridge. So once you've got power, you'll uh, have a nice little display here flashing. And then turn it on. Better hold it down for a little bit between hot and cold. And turn it down to nice and low. We should then hear the fan kick in. It's got a cool little LED light in here. It's a bit hard to tell because the light on the camera is really bright, but that's actually quite a nice bright LED. Here's the other side of our thermoelectric cooler in here. That's what we'll do. Well, look at that, it even it tells you the temperature. It's saying we've got 21 degrees Celsius inside the cooler. Alright, so this nice big fan on the uh, outside's fired up. Our starting temperature is about 21 degrees Celsius. You can see the little green LED on the cold line there. We're uh, programmed to run for cold. While that's starting to cool down, let's have a look at the warranty manual. Okay, so it's been like two minutes long enough for me to open up the uh, operation manual and check out that Evercool will actually provide the warranty for it as well because they are the manufacturer power selection settings power setting 7 is down to 1 degree in the interior space power setting 1 is about 16 degrees in the interior space I already dropped 2 degrees Celsius let's go for 7, make it freezing cold in there now, the thing to remember was we started at 22 degrees See how it flashes like that? That's where it's temperature reading on the machine. And we're already down to 18 degrees inside the machine. A bit of warm air comes out of the sides here, which is how Peltier coolers work. And uh, power setting 7 will get you up to 65 degrees Celsius. More than enough to heat up a pie or some soup or something like that in there.
that's that's pretty pretty much the long and short of how they work. I'll uh, wait until the temperature drops off a bit more and give it maybe 10 minutes and see if we're down there. Now obviously when you've got stuff in your fridge taking up the actual cubic volume inside will cool at a different rate. As two quite nice fold out carry handles so they don't get in the way if you were to mount this in a drawer or whatever. Let's give it 10 minutes and see what kind of temperature we've got. We're down to 17 already. So I've been running the fridge and using it enough for the last couple of days now and uh, I thought I'd better give you a bit of an update on how it works and how well it goes. It's set on the uh, highest setting there is, which is 7, which uh, cools it the furthest and heats it the warmest when it's in heat mode. I haven't tried heat mode yet, I'll make you another video when I do do that. But um, I'll show you what I've got inside. So there is four standard size beers for two litre. Bottles of Coke. All in there at two degrees Celsius. So uh, if you're looking at buying one of these guys, I'll leave a link to the Ridge Rider 32 litre fridge. Slash, it's a it's a cooler and a warmer. Uh, made by Evercool, really good unit. Uh, we might do some tests if we can't uh, heat up a pie to the point where you can eat it or something like that in the next video. I'll work on that. Thanks heaps for watching. I'll catch us in the next videos, guys. Thanks to Supercheap for sending me this for a review. And, uh, yeah, like I say, if you like it, it'll be in the top of the video description just there for you to uh, have a link straight to it. Cheers, guys. Thanks heaps for watching.